Hello everyone, my name is Ari Hoffman, I'm the COO of Gobi H2O, and we here at Gobi wanted to wish everyone a happy, happy Labor Day, and we thought what better way to kick off this three-day weekend than by announcing our grand prize winner giveaway. So, to start things off, we're going to announce the second place winners. These people have all won a brand new Gobi koozie. These new co koozies help keep your uh, water colder longer, but they also help kind of collect some of that condensation, some of that sweat that collects if you put ice in your water bottle. They also have these really nice metal zippers so you can attach a carabiner, stick it to your purse or to your backpack. Uh, they also have a nice grip plate, and they're also custom fit for your Gobi so that you can still use your flex flow pad without blocking off the valve. And as you see here, I've uh, mixed and matched a black Gobi with a pink koozie. You can kind of make your own color combo and we can see how you Gobi. Anyways, I'm going to get to the winners. So, for the grand prize winners, the second place runner-ups, we have Cheryl Inca, Diana Henniger, Hollis Brazier, Jacob Denton, kind of sounds like a superhero, Jill Theriot, Julia Narikis, Melinda Kramer, Manny Zarate, Megan Apperson, Ryan Harris, and finally, Sarah Fallon. So all of you are going to be getting one Gobi koozie of your choice in the mail today. So, without any further ado, our grand prize winner, which is worth over $250 worth of prizes, can I get a little drum roll, please? All right, Deborah Sanders, you are our grand prize winner getting all seven of those Gobi koozies and bottles that you see up above my shoulder and they will be coming to you in the mail today. So congratulations everyone and thank you everyone who participated in this uh, little giveaway. We're just trying to spread awareness and that koozies are now up on the website and available for purchase. Um, finish things off, I just wanted to read something to you that came into the mail last night to us here at Gobi and it was so moving and inspiring we wanted to share it with everyone. and. Uh, we're going to respect this woman's privacy and keep her name off it, but she did allow us to share this with everyone. Um, something she wrote to us. She wrote, I'm so glad I got my Gobi when I did, as I just lost my job, my job last week. I was also diagnosed with stage 1 cancer in my bladder in July, and I've had surgery already, and back to training for the 60 kilometer weekend to end women's cancer event in Toronto, Ontario next weekend. I'll post pictures at each refreshment stop along the way to mark my progress, progress for my family and friends and for Team Gobi. The reason I'm sending this as a private message is my kids do not know the results of my biopsy, as I don't want them to change their minds about going off to college in September, because I know they would want to stay home and take care of me. I've raised five kids on my own for 19 years. So I don't want anything to stand in the way of their, of my youngest two girls' dreams. Thank you. I love my gobies. Well, as you know, I just had a child of my own, and things like this are really what make everything worthwhile to us here at Gobi. And, you know, we couldn't help but want to share this and wish everyone a wonderful Labor Day and know how much we support all of you and appreciate all of you supporting us. Thank you all, and uh, have a great week.